When we think about Britain during the 20th century, one of the major processes that we're still coming to terms with as a society and as an economy is deindustrialization. With the Manufacturing Past project, we decided to examine deindustrialization in four separate spheres. One, the political, the responses within the city of Leicester by, say for example, the city council, to remediate the land, to prepare the ground, and also to deal with the consequences of deindustrialization socially. That brings me on to the second way in which we tried to examine it, and that was the social consequences of deindustrialization. People didn't just lose a job, they lost a traditional way of life. They lost a community which they were part of and which they enjoyed being part of. You can see this, for example, with the closure and the loss of traditional community icons, such as the public house. In order to really examine these processes, we decided to look at the Frog Island area of Leicester. This was traditionally at the heart of many of Leicester's manufacturing industries. Its gradual decline over a 20-30 year period can be seen socially with the loss of the public houses, can be seen economically with the loss of jobs, it can be seen physically with the decay of the land and the buildings within that area. As such, a number of strategies were put in place by important bodies during the latter part of the 20th century. These documents highlight not just the fact of deindustrialization, but the ways in which people responded to deindustrialization. Did they, for example, create new jobs? Did they try and support two areas which retained some productivity during this period, that of female employment and also the employment of the ethnic minorities who moved into and settled within Leicester during the second half of the 20th century? So really, deindustrialization is a profound part of our British history, of our urban history. And using this module and this evidential basis, should be able to allow you to look at the themes, the sources and the issues that come out of this process.